In this video, I'm telling the story of a broke Lego minifigure getting a job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria and will build all the rooms from the first game. This story starts with a guy named Brian. Brian is broke and works for minimum wage at a convenience store. So that's the first thing we're building. I built the outside of the store and added some tan pieces to make it look disgusting. There's these automatic doors which are quite dangerous. Brian works as a cashier but his boss always lets him clean the toilet. For the rest of the interior, I built all these freezers with different foods and drinks and an aisle with foods along with a row of crates filled with fruits and vegetables. One day when Brian was working a cool biker asked him to scan his lottery ticket. Yes, I just won a million dollars. This made Brian sad because he's been buying those tickets for five years and he's only won a hundred dollars. After closing the store, Brian walks to his car and sees a flyer on the wall. He decides to take it with him and drives home. He lives in a downtown apartment, so I grabbed a plate and built some disgusting walls. He has a small kitchen and there's some leftover pizza on the table. And since Brian is broke, he only has a dirty mattress to sleep on. There's also this desk with an old computer, which is basically useless. <laughs> On the other side of the apartment, there's this small bathroom with a toilet and a shower. Last but not least, I decorated the exterior of the apartment with dark red bricks. After a long day, Brian comes home that night and decides to take a warm shower. After that gross shower, Brian cooks himself dinner and starts reading the newspaper, which reminds him of the flyer he found earlier. This job could be the solution to all of his problems, enabling him to get out of this apartment and since it's at night, he can still work the day shift at the store. Brian calls the pizzeria and immediately gets hired. So the next day, he arrived at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria and for this I wanted to build the first location in the game series. Of course, we need to start by building the most iconic room of the game, the office. I started by building the walls and next up I place these door frames as well as the big window so you can see the animatronics. Then I finish the walls and there's this black and white pattern on the floor. For the emergency doors I built these panels and they slide in these locks which actually works like in the game. There's also this desk with old computer monitors and a fan. And now that the room looks like the game Brian can begin his shift. So as Brian waits in the office he puts on a horror movie. Then suddenly the phone rings. Hello? Hello? You're Brian right? Take a look around and be quick. Good night. First off, Brian will visit the dining area, so that's what we're building next. I laid the foundation for this room and then I built the stage with these masonry bricks and added some dark tan tiles. I started working on the wall and copied this design across the entire room. Then I filled the floor with all of these tiles. And for the stage, I used these support pillars and on top of them I added these lights and some curtains. To make the clouds on the wall, I used these cloud pieces and for the sun, I grabbed this yellow plate which is actually a good fit for this build. Next Next up, I placed all of these tables and now we can start adding the animatronics. So I added Freddy, Bonnie and Chica and I gotta say that these fake Lego minifigures actually look pretty good. But watch out boys, if you buy these you're gonna be on the radar of the fake Lego police squad. Now that everything is in place, the show can begin. As Brian looks at the main stage, he smells something delicious and sees the entrance to the kitchen. For this, I built a room with the same floor pattern and added a few counters along with a sink and a fridge. There there's also a freezer in the corner which you don't want to fall on you. As Brian walks in, he sees a delicious pizza on the counter and runs towards it. Now that Brian's all filled up, he can start his shift. So Brian gets his camera monitor and starts watching the animatronics. At first, he doesn't believe the phone guy, but then checks the cameras for burglars. Suddenly, Bonnie is gone from the main stage. So he checks the camera footage and sees Bonnie in the backstage room. For this, we're building the room with a bunch of animatronic heads on shelves. There's two shelves with the parts from the animatronics, as well as this endoskeleton, which you can actually see in the game. I added Bonnie, and now it just looks like in the game. Brian can't believe what he sees, so he quickly checks the main stage, but Chica has also disappeared. For this, we're going to build the hallway to the toilet, since this also appears in the video game. The hallway is a quite simple design. There are also two toilets, which have a cool design, along with a sink to wash your hands. Brian can't wait to visit the toilets, because the toilet in his apartment doesn't work, and it makes his entire room reek for days. 
Then, Brian hears stuff falling, and it seems to be close, so he checks the footage and sees Bonnie in the supply closet. This room is close to Brian, so he needs to keep an eye on it. For this room, I built a shelf filled with all of these cans, and there's also two brooms on the wall, which you can see in the video game. And now that the animatronics are getting closer and closer, he's pretty stressed out. He hears a sound coming from the door to his left, and sees Bonnie standing in the doorway. He quickly closes the door, and suddenly Bonnie is gone. And when Brian checks the surveillance footage, he sees Bonnie back in the closet. Then, Brian hears some sort of footsteps and checks the cameras in the right hallway to discover that Chica is behind the right door, so he closes it. And with that, Brian survived his first night, but there's four more to go. As Brian is having dinner, he thinks about quitting, but then he remembers the money he'll get for this job, so he decides to finish it. During the second night, Brian checks his monitor much more often and sees no movement on the main stage until both Bonnie and Chica are gone. Suddenly, he hears sounds coming from the kitchen, but he can't see what's happening because the camera is broken. Bonnie is in the supply closet again, and then he sees something new. On the other side of the dining room, there's this corner, which is called Pirate Cove. For this, I got the Foxy minifigure, and now I need to hide him behind the curtains. So I built this round stage and added two purple curtains to make it look like the game. Next to the stage, there's this sign which says it's out of order, but Brian sees Foxy peeking through the curtain. It seems like he's moved, but Brian isn't certain. Then, Brian hears footsteps to his right, and suddenly sees Chica in the doorway. So he quickly closes the door, and then out of nowhere, Brian hears someone running and checks the footage. Unfortunately, Brian ended up in the hospital, but luckily nothing serious happened to him. So he went back to work, and this time he has a master plan. He needs to check the camera near Pirate Cove frequently to ensure Foxy stays put. Chica and Bonnie have the same pattern, so Brian will put his other focus on them. And he doesn't think Freddy will ever move, so he decides to leave him be. <laughs> Bonnie is in the supply closet, and Chica's in the dining room, but wait a second. Brian checks the main stage and sees Freddy has disappeared. <laughs> he quickly closes the door and is safe from Freddy. As Brian arrives home, he cooks himself some dinner and thinks about his new job. It's just too scary for him, but he needs the money and he's already three days in. So he decides to go through with it. Brian's confident he can do this, only two more nights he thinks. At first, the animatronics don't move much. Brian checks Pirate Cove frequently and suddenly sees all the animatronics on the main stage are gone. Both doors are closed, but this takes up too much power. The next day, Brian showed up for work and didn't want to be there. Only two hours to go, but then, Brian heard some evil laugh and saw that Freddy had left the stage. He quickly closed both doors and only had 30% power. So he grabbed his weapon and opened the left door. Of course, outside, Freddy was waiting for him, but he beat him up. Since this was his final day, and since Brian had earned quite a bit of money from this job, he got a new bed along with a brand new computer to play some video games. And the shower finally works like normal. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha